let f of x equal two x squared. We want to calculate f prime of one, or find the derivative function value at x equals one, using the limit definition of the derivative, which is given here, where f prime of one will give us the slope of the tangent line at x equals one, which we'll verify graphically when we finish. So to find our derivative function value at x equals one, we'll substitute one for x here, here, and here. So f prime of one is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of our difference quotient, which would be f of the quantity one plus h minus f of one all divided by h. This will give us the limit as h approaches zero of Notice here the input into our function is the quantity one plus h, so we'd have two times the quantity one plus h squared minus f of one, which would be two times one squared divided by h. Next we need to square the quantity one plus h. There's no shortcuts here. We have to write out two factors of one plus h, and we'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So we have one times one is one, and one times h is h, plus h times one, that's also h, so plus two h, and then plus h times h, or plus h squared. So we have two times the quantity one plus two h, plus h squared, minus two times one squared is just two, all over h. Now we'll distribute the two, so we have the limit as h approaches zero of, distributing two, we have two plus four h plus two h squared. We still have minus two all over h. Notice the numerator does simplify. Two minus two simplifies to zero. So now our numerator is just four h plus two h squared, and our denominator is h. Let's continue on the next slide. There's a couple ways to simplify this fraction here. Because we're dividing by a monomial, we can write this as the limit as h approaches zero of four h divided by h plus two h squared divided by h. And then simplify each fraction individually, which would give us the limit as h approaches zero of, notice here h over h simplifies the one, so we have just four plus, here we have a common factor of h that simplifies the one. Here we have just one factor of h. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of four plus two h. So this would be one way to simplify this fraction. The other way would be to factor the numerator. Notice how there's a common factor of h. So we'd have h times the quantity four plus two h and divided by h. And here we can simplify these h's, again leaving us with the quantity four plus two h. And then finally as h approaches zero, two h approaches zero, and therefore our limit is going to equal positive four. So f prime of one is equal to positive four, meaning our derivative function value is four when x equals one, which again does give us the slope of the tangent line to our function at x equals one. And let's verify this graphically. In blue we have the graph of f of x equals two x squared. When x equals one, the point of the function is the point one comma two, this point here. So this red line is our tangent line at that point. And if we select two points on this tangent line, we can verify the slope of this tangent line. So we'll use the point of tangency here and let's use this point here. Notice how this point would have coordinates two comma six. If we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we'd have to go up four units and then write one unit, verifying the slope of the tangent line at that point is positive four. I hope you found this helpful.